not to show you guys my outfit this morning because I was running a little late. First day back to work from a three-day weekend. I'm always a little bit slow in the morning. Uh, but this is what I wore today. It looks like it's all black, but it's actually all navy. So I'm wearing a navy cashmere sweater from Uniqlo. I love these sweaters. I think they're my new kind of favorite cashmere sweater that's also a little bit more affordable. Um, I have some pricier um, cashmere sweaters, but I actually, you know, like I don't find them to be remarkably softer and the price point is probably two or three times more than the Uniqlo ones. So I like these Uniqlo sweaters. I'll probably pick up some more as uh, my other cashmere sweaters like wear out. Um, I'm also wearing navy pants from Uniqlo. And then the shoes are actually these Calvin Klein shoes. Maybe today's video will consist of kind of my shoe collection or just like my favorite shoes to wear for work. I have gotten a couple of questions about that. So perhaps that will be the theme of today's vlog because I started the vlog a little bit later and I don't really have anything else going on tonight other than popping into HomeSense to see if I can get some uh, gift wrap. I am, however, wearing the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. I only put on like a sheer wash of a couple of the shades this morning. Surprisingly, it's worn well throughout the day. I did find a little bit of creasing right where my crease is, but I just basically pat that back in and then we're like brand new. So maybe tomorrow I'll do a little bit more of a noticeable look. I don't know if you can even tell but I just did like a light wash of the colors on my lid. Hello, we are on our way to HomeSense because I want to check out some wrapping paper. Um, I need some gifts to wrap, so I want to do that. The beau is looking for some gifts that he can maybe give to um, some of his employees. And I just came from a car wash. It's my second one this week. So these are the two items that I picked up from HomeSense. So this is a wrapping paper that I'm going to wrap my gifts in this year. Uh, it is like a pale pink with polka dots. It's not super festive, but I still like it. And then I'm also going to use this gift bag for one of the Glossier items that I picked up. And it also comes with its own tissue paper. Before we open the advent calendar, I wanted to quickly show you guys some of my favorite pairs of shoes, specifically work shoes. So I keep my shoes in this Billy bookcase behind me. It's from Ikea. I do have doors on them. And I like the clear glass because it allows me to see obviously what's in there. But if you don't like that, it does come with white inserts. I think actually you can use um, the front or the back. So one side is white, one side is black. So here is a quick overview of some of my shoes. So like I said, I have them in this Billy bookcase. I think this Billy bookcase only comes with like four or five shelves. So I did have to pick up a couple of extra ones to be able to fit more shoes on here. So these are a few rows of shoes. And then we have some more here at the bottom. And then I actually also keep shoes downstairs in the hall closet. And then I have seasonal shoes in boxes like boots. Um, most of those are actually probably out in the hall closet right now because it is winter, but during the summer and spring, I actually put them back in the boxes and store them in our spare room. Anyway, I'm gonna pull out some of my favorite pairs of shoes for work specifically, and I'll show you guys how they look on. I'm currently wearing my Glossier sweater and a pair of sweatpants from Uniqlo. So this is not exactly the look that I rock heels in, um, but these are the Nine West heels. I think I got them last year, but they're really comfy. They're just plain black leather um, heels. They're only about a two to three inch heel, but you really can't go wrong with black heels. They're quite a staple in my wardrobe. Um, I really like these because again, it's not a very high heel and they're pretty comfortable to wear. Then we have some navy shoes from 
Calvin Klein. I love these shoes, the style of them, and also the fit. Um, it's really comfortable actually. So these are a bit higher. They're a three inch, a solid three, maybe three and a quarter inch heel. Um, but I like the colorway. Like I said, it's a navy. So I typically wear this with um, light colored pants or navy pants actually. They are pointy toe. You'll notice that's a trend um, amongst my shoes because I do prefer a pointy toe as opposed to like an almond or a round toe. But again, a really nice classic pair of shoes that I feel like everyone should have. You've probably seen this in some of my outfit of the days, but these are a low block heel leopard print shoe. So these are also leather and they're from Calvin Klein. I like them because they're, they are low heel, so they're super comfortable to wear. I can wear these all day long. The only con I have about this is that the texture of the shoe is very prone to scuffing. So there's a bit of a texture to it. It's almost as if it's like a pony hair. So uh, I'm really clumsy, so I usually kind of hit my foot on random things like chairs or doorways. So as you can see at the top of this one, it uh, is scuffing a bit. So you really can't go wrong with a pair of uh, neutral heels. So these are from Zara, I just picked these up. So these ones I know for sure are still available. Um, this is more of like a bone color or an accrue color. So it's not quite my skin tone. The next pair of nude heels I'll show you are a bit closer to my skin tone. Uh, but these are really comfy actually. And again, a pointy toe. I just find that a pointy toe on me is a little bit more flattering. Um, but I do have a pair of round um, toed shoes that I'll show you guys in a bit. So these are the other pair of nude heels that I have. So these are Christian Louboutins and they're very low heel. It's almost like a kitten heel. I think this is the 55 millimeter and I like it because one, it's super comfortable. I have owned higher heeled um, shoes from Christian Louboutin before, but I find that the heel is really, um, really thin. And when I'm at work, I, I'm walking around a lot. And one time I got my heel actually caught in a grate at work and it was not good. But as you can see, this color is a little bit warmer than the Zara pair, which are right here. It's a little bit more of um, like a camel-y color. So it suits my skin tone a little bit better. In case you're also wondering, I have had the soles um, replaced on these particular heels. Um, I couldn't get the exact red, of course, because this red is actually a patented color. Only Christian Louboutin can apparently do this color legally. Um, so this is not quite the same red, but I would definitely recommend um, resoling these Louboutins, or if you do have them, because I do find that the heel is very slippery. So it's better um, after they've worn down a bit, but straight out of the box, they are very slippery. So these are a pair of, I guess I would consider these block heels. These are pretty high. They're like a three and a half or three and three quarter heel. So this is probably the highest heel that I would wear at work. And the reason I feel comfortable doing that is because it is a block heel. So the heel is very sturdy. Um, you know, I'm not gonna fall into any grates in these heels. These are a bit more of kind of like an almond or a round shaped toe. So it's still a little bit of a point, but these are pretty much as round as I usually go with shoes or heels. These are another pair of nude heels that I have, but I don't actually wear these to work. I usually revert... So these are another pair of nude heels that I have. I usually don't wear these to work. I've may maybe only worn them a couple of times. They're from Jimmy Choo. They're like a Dorsey heel. So as you can see, um, you know, the they don't quite cover the entire foot. Um, but I like to reserve these for, you know, date nights or if I have to go out somewhere. Um, typically for an event, not for work. I do find these to be a bit higher than what I would normally wear to work. And I just find them to be a little too, I don't know, maybe fun for work. So moving on to some flats. These are a pair of leopard print flats that I picked up in the Philippines ages ago. I still wear them though. They're actually not leather, but they've lasted so long. I had to have these resold though um, a few months ago, I think maybe last year. But I like them. They are kind of like a pointed toe. I like how they have the fun tassels and I feel like a leopard print is kind of like a neutral. My last pair of flats that I wanted to show you guys, this is kind of a flat and a heel mixed into one. It's not super high, uh, but I would consider these a flat 
that. But they are really cute loafers. Um, they are a little bit more formal, I guess. So I do like to wear them for work or even casually with some jeans. These particular ones are from uh, Steve Madden. I haven't quite pulled the trigger on some Gucci loafers yet. I haven't found a colorway that I want. I really want um, a pair of brown or nude loafers from Gucci, but they have pretty much come in every other color except for that. Like they had sequins at one point, but not a nude. But I love these. Um, I think they're super comfortable. I wear them all the time. And I even like how it comes with like a little bit of a heel. Also on a side note, it is winter. So I obviously don't wear these shoes out the door. Um, I always change in some winter boots. But what I do is I put my pair of shoes in a bag. It can be any bag. This just happens to be one from Sephora, actually. It, uh, I think they used to give these for as gift bags um, if you place an online order. Anyway, so I'll put my shoes in a bag like this, something I can tie up so that they don't fly around in my work bag. And then when I get to work, I change into them. Okay, so before we end today's video, we are going to open the advent calendar for today. Okay, so day 13. Ooh, another nougat. Actually, I didn't mind this one the last time. We still have a reindeer from a few days ago, so I'm gonna get this one to the bow. That's pretty What do you have? Nougat. You wanna bite? I'm happy. I have. I'm oh my happy. gosh, we're yeah. twinning. <laughs> I'll have you guys know that this is the bow's favorite sweater because it's really comfy. Super comfy. My favorite sweater too, that's why I have two of them. Why do you have two? <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to try to knock out a couple more um, suggestions for the Vlogless Vlogs this week. But if you have any other ones, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye.